Welcome back to Cup of Tea TV. And I'm here with Mr. Trevor Sexton. Hello. Trevor, how are you? Great. No, no fear of me. Happy to be here. Enjoying the tea? Yeah, I'm telling you. It's, <laughs> it's lovely, actually. Good stuff. Uh, tell us, Trev, where are you from, first of all? I'm from Newcastle West, well, just a couple of miles outside Newcastle West, a place called Monaghan. Grew up in the town of Newcastle. Cool. Yeah. And your, your family is there? Yeah, all from around there. Yeah. Um, um, the house I'm living in now, actually, is was the house my grandfather built himself. And my mother is from a place called Kilachdeen, so just the, the other side of the town, so we're, we're, we're locals, yeah. Right. Cool. When did music first come into your life? Uh, both my grandfathers were musicians. 
uh, one of them was a fiddle player and the other one was an accordion player. And he had a, he had a grandfather on my sixth and the sixth and side. Uh, back in the day, they had a band, kind of a, a show band. Back in the time when kind of swing bands, I suppose, were in were in fashion. They used to do all the dance halls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My father taught me actually. He was my father taught me the story that my grandfather he was a builder by trade, but they just get more money for their gig for one night of a gig back then than they would in the week oh. from building. So when he was finished his building, he'd stick the accordion up in his back and they'd cycle to wherever they were playing, do their gig and cycle home again. I love that. Yeah, well, yeah. Mad, mad. Don't take your chance. Hell of a story. Yeah. <laughs> First, pick up a guitar. Uh, I started playing, I suppose, when I was 12 or 13. My dad played a bit of guitar as well, so um, I was always kind of fiddling around with his guitar, but I could never play it properly because I'm left handed and he's right handed. So. Right. But um, there was always music in the house, kind of, you know. Uh, dad played, my, my dad played a little bit in that band, my, in his father's band, we'll say, my yeah. grandfather's band okay. as well. And my mother used to sing, so there was always music in the house. and. It is a very loud house. Yeah, it was a loud house. <laughs> yeah, you had two sisters into that as well who sing. So. And they sing too, right? Yeah, excellent. So it, was, it was a loud house. But it was, it was always good. Good vibes. And there was always, a, my dad, still to this day, has a huge collection of old vinyls and old tapes. And, and they're still there. And they were always playing. And it was a huge selection. Every, every kind of music, every type of music. was. Yeah. So we listened to a bit of everything. So would they, that music that was in the house, would that be kind of where you drew influence from, from an early age, we'll say? Um, <coughs> like who are we talking about? I what, suppose what, who, what I kind of opened my eyes to was there's, there's good and bad music in all genres of music, you know, there's, there's good country and there's bad country, there's good rock and there's bad rock, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. We never got tied into one particular type back when, when I was young, because like, my dad had kind of listened to, listened to everything really. Right. Um, but I suppose uh, he had a few tapes of um, I can't even think of the name of the band. They were kind of Irishy tread kind of stuff, and that's what kind of put me listening to that when I was younger. But right. when I was a teenager, it was uh, Bob Marley. I suppose first was my was my I was a huge fan of Bob Marley because of the message he was bringing the the kind of the the social consciousness of the music and. That's uh, coming coming from there. I got into folk music, then the likes of Bob Dylan and Ewan McCall, who were there was a message to the music. You know yeah. what I mean? There was a it's like the common thread for you, was it? Yeah, like kind of, yeah, always, always, like yeah. Lyrics, yeah. I've always been into songs that have a kind of story to them, or a story behind them, or right. political songs, anti-war songs, stuff like that. Cool. And out of that, then I got into Irish folk music, so the likes of Christy Moore and uh, Paul Brady and the Irvine. Uh, I love all their stuff, Planksty, but I think uh, you can Luke Kelly is the is is the the top of the lot. He's yeah. for me, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, not just his voice, brilliant voice, but the songs he chose to sing and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how regenerated too was just immense. Oh, unbelievable! Yeah. yeah, unbelievable voice. You could, I'd say, I'd say, that time to be around and that time in Dublin, we'll say when I don't know whose pub was flying it and. You had the likes of the Furies and yeah. the boys from Planksty and the boys from the Dubliners all yeah. mixing. <laughs> yeah. Must have been an amazing time to be around, you know. I often it's think that I was kind of, I, I wish I was born that bit earlier that I could have been around back then. You yeah. know, he, he, but Do you have a favourite song of his, of Luke Ellis? Yeah, it has to be Raglan Road is, is my number one. But I love the, the Night Visiting song, beautiful song. Great song. Um, <clears throat> he's that one too. Anything by, anything by Luke is just Good. amazing. Smashing. So uh, could you tell us maybe some of the gig gigs you've played recently or um, places you've played in the past? Yeah, a nice one for me. A few years back I got to play support for Phil Coulter. Uh, he did a gig um, in a hotel not too far away from where I'm from and uh, I did it about what, a half an hour slack before he came out. Sweet. It was, it was well, class, good. especially because he was the two of Luke Kelly's most famous songs. It was him that, that wrote him. So, right, yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was nice. Very cool. But um, Recently, probably the, the most recent gig I've done here in Limerick City is in was in Shale Fab, a lovely cafe just not too far away from here, and a lovely vibe there. 
just pure acoustic music the way it should be, just vocal yeah. and no no messing around with effects or none of that yeah, stuff. Just yeah. straight. Yeah, just yeah. straight for the voice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So uh, you talked about obviously your, your dad and, and, and the music that was in your house. Would he have been maybe one of your biggest supports to kind of guide you into the, the world of music to be to make a career out of that? Do you yeah, think? definitely. Um <clears throat> We say when when I was kind of in school, we were always myself and a couple of lads. We were messing around in rock bands and the usual crack that you do when you start playing guitar. You want to play Nirvana and Metallica and all <laughs> yeah. that kind of crack, you know. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, he was always kind of pushing me to to keep playing, keep playing. And then I actually went away from music for a good while. I, I went down to New Zealand um, playing a bit of rugby for a while. I was I was always interested. I always played rugby up along as well. And I went down there and I kind of parked the music for a little while, but. When I came back again, uh, he was kind of he was the fellow that always gave me the, the kick in the arse. So right, the reminder. Go back playing again, yeah. The, the gentler stop reminder. Your, stop your wrestling <laughs> and go back to music. You only one of them. <laughs> Do you play um, a lot of gigs locally from like your near, near Newcastle West? Yeah, um, <coughs> I, I don't I don't travel too far really. I'm I'm looking away. I'm 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 staying home dad during the day and my wife works so so I stay at home mind the kids during the day and. Uh, when she comes home, we do the swap over and I head away and do my gigs. So right. I never travel away too far. I'd be kind of Tralee at the far side and Limerick City at this side. And I kind of stay within within that circle. Okay. I'm lucky enough I get enough gigs within that radius to make it work. To keep me going, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. If you could pick a venue that you'd like to play in, where would it be? Any venue. Any anywhere. venue in the world. Anywhere. Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, to just pick one. I think Dolan's Warehouse here in Limerick yeah. is hard to beat for a yeah. gig, yeah. A lot of, a lot Small of the, and intimate. A lot of big guys keep coming back there too. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a great place. Yeah, I okay. go to see, I go there very regularly. Declan O'Rourke comes there a lot. I go to I follow him mm-hmm. religiously, kind of. Um, go see him there for, very often. It's a great place for a gig. Small, and not, you're, you're pretty much on top of the stage. Even if you're sitting at the back of the room, you're still only 20 yards yeah. away from the stage. You know, it's, it's yeah. a great place. I prefer that style of gig than the big... Stadium kind of things, you know. I guess it's more intimate, it's more personal. Yeah. When you're that close, yeah. Yeah, you can almost uh, figure out what tuning they're using on the guitar and what, <laughs> what notes they're playing. Taking notes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. So uh, let's say you're playing locally, you've supported Phil Kutu, which is which is phenomenal. Um, where would you like to see yourself going, maybe, in a couple of years, five years? Yeah, well, before this year is finished, before 2017 is finished, I hope to have uh, an EP finished, so maybe four, five, six tracks, something like that, okay. um, recorded. Definitely will be four of my own originals, maybe two covers, something along the lines of that. Maybe all originals, I haven't have fully decided yet. Yeah. That, that's my goal for the end of 2017, and hopefully then use that as a kind of a, a business card, a calling card, whatever you want to say it, and try to get... get the foot in the door, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So, like... Um, be nice to move to move to kind of concert gigs rather than pub gigs, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? They definitely so like, are even if it was only small, if it was only 30, 40 people coming to listen to you, mm-hmm. but they're actually coming to listen to you. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. coming to be drinking forty points of Guinness and living yeah. around the place. You yeah. know, what kind of different. and sing back your songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. something yeah. like that. That'd be nice. But uh, I don't mind. I I love playing music, whether I'm playing for the. The fellas that are lipping and hopping off of the ceiling or the, the quiet lister in the corner. Yeah, uh, yeah I enjoy these. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So we come to the part of the show where I would ask a random question. Okay. So if you're ready to take that, I'll, I'll yeah, shoot yeah. down with yeah. it. Okay. So uh, what is your favourite movie and, and why? Yeah, definitely um, anything to do with The Lord of the Rings, either one, either three of The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit films or any of the Harry Potter films. Could you pick one out? Oh, out of uh, out of all of them, uh, you had to. Let me see. I think Return of the King probably in in, okay. in the, the Lord of the Rings. Film. That's the last one, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. But yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a big child, <laughs> big, big geeky child. I think everybody is when it comes yeah, to yeah. Like that though. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff and it's good. It's good. Um, so if anyone wants to to find you and and hear your stuff. Um, where's the best place to get that? Yeah, I have a few few clips on, on YouTube. Um, not in major at the moment, a few bits of clips. I have a couple of clips on my Facebook page. Find me on Facebook, Trevor Sexton. Cool. Or I have a separate page, Trevor Sexton Music. That's only a recent edition, so there's not a whole pile on it yet. Um, um, 
That's it. Cool. Two clips. Very good. And you want to send Anyone wants to send me um, send me a message on Facebook or anything interested about what kind of stuff I sing or um, what covers I do or what originals I have, please send me a message. And Get them on Facebook. Yep. Get them cool. on Facebook. Trevor Sexton. Yeah. Um, so you'll play a song for us, one of your own. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I'll play a song called Heroes. Um, I wrote it. It's, it's not at all. I suppose it started life as a poem. And uh, when I'd written, I was kind of looking and I said, geez, if I, if I come up with a chorus for that, yeah. I could make a song out of it. So I kind of started off as, I, I, I'm kind of, I'm interested in history and Irish history, Irish folklore, but all, all history really. But, so it started off as a kind of an idea from Irish folklore, the heroes of Irish folklore. And then it was, it came from that to the, the heroes of, um, the heroes, we'll say, of the 1916 Rising and the heroes of, World War One, World War Two, that kind of thing. And that that was the idea I had, and then it ended up being coming totally from that to my own hero of the moment. So who's my dad? And that's the last yeah. verse of it. That's who's about. So. That's amazing. Great song. Yes, yes. It, it worked. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, I like that storyline. Started out with no plan, and that's kind of <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. What happened, it know? just grew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it, yeah. Trevor Sexton. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. It's Great a stuff. Pleasure, and uh, thanks for the cup of tea. No yeah. water and jelly yeah, beans. <laughs> So good, right. excellent. Sure. So Trevor Sexton is going to sing uh, his own song, Heroes, a uh, beautiful song. Until next time, cheer, chat, and tunes, and we'll catch you then. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers bud. Top man. Don't worry. Brilliant. Yeah. Nice one. Thanks very much. We've heard the stories, tales of old. Kings whose helms are crowned with gold. And the knights upon their noble steeds And the doings of their daring deeds And the legends of our native land Who once took shield and spear in hand Fionn, Cullen, Brian Heroes noble, strong and true We all have a hero. We all have a hero. What could do with some hero? Men of sixty. All in one, every Irish mother's son who stood and answered freedom's call. It must be said, a hero's all are those who fell where poppies grow, whose names that we will never know, each to their cause forever fade. For whose lives I'm forever grateful. We all have our heroes. We all have our heroes. We all have our heroes. What could do with some Heroes come in many guises From every background, shapes and sizes Not all do splinter sword and shield And die upon the battlefield Heroes live among us now In every village, in every town Motherhood has walked alone, and yet she keeps a loving home. Of the father who might widowed be, no braver hero lives than he. We 
all have our heroes. We all have our heroes. We all have our heroes. The world could do with some Hero now in my life stands He crafted me with his own hands And if I am but half of he A mighty man I shall be With stout resolve and standing tall Money tied and back to war He never failed did he flinch but fall and scrape for every inch he worked and grafted every hour till back was bent and hands were so a better hero was never had than my best friend We all